South Korean government officials have reportedly been caught insider trading. They sold their cryptocurrency holdings and profited just before the regulators announced crypto regulatory measures. The country's financial supervisory service is investigating the case. Also read, South Korea urges 23 countries, EU, and IMF to collaborate on curbing crypto trading a case of government insider trading at a meeting of the National Assembly's Committee on Thursday, January 18. The Financial Supervisory Service, FSS, confirmed that some employees invested in cryptocurrencies and sold them just before the government announced crypto regulatory measures, local media reported. A right-wing party lawmaker said at the meeting, as reported by Jungang Ilbo, there is intelligence that FSS staff sold the virtual currency that they invested in just prior to the announcement of the government's measures. We have confirmed the intelligence. FSS Governor Choi Heng Sik admitted. We have confirmed that some public officials have done such an act, Chief of the Office of the Prime Minister, Hong Nam Ki, added. The news outlet noted that the lawmakers called for thorough investigation and punishment, and quoted them emphasizing, it is a tremendous thing for civil servants to influence the market and gain profits. Chosen elaborated, it is expected that the moral hazard controversy will spread if the government uses the inside information and profits from virtual currency transactions while the financial authorities publish a hard-line policy saying that the cryptocurrency transaction is gambling. FSS Crypto Policies The Korean Public Service Ethics Act strictly restricts the stock trading of public officials in order to prevent misuse of internal information, Chosun pointed out. However, since cryptocurrency is currently not defined as a financial asset or currency, there is no code of ethics and no code of conduct for virtual money investment in the FSS regulations. However, the misuse of internal information could lead to punishment, the publication added. Recently, the FSS advised its employees to refrain from trading cryptocurrencies, stating that, if the supervisory officials engage in speculative transactions, it will be difficult for the public to understand ethically, Chosen also reported. On Tuesday, the FSS announced that it has created a virtual currency task force which has two divisions, a virtual currency counterpart, and a virtual currency checkpoint. Asia Today explained. The former is dedicated to cryptocurrency-related tasks while the latter is a consultation body of crypto-related inspections and supervisions. What do you think of South Korean officials profiting from insider knowledge? Let us know in the comments section below. Images courtesy of Shutterstock. Need to calculate your Bitcoin holdings? Check our tools section.